So now we have the dog, we have our leash, we have our collar. Let's put those together. Now, the first thing I want to do is I want to remind you that when you attach this to your dog, there's a wrong way and a right way. We're going to let the chain drop down through this loop here. And when it drops down through this loop, we can take our left hand and hold this up. And you can see that the chain is now coming down, up and down through that loop. That is the correct way. If we try to put this on our dog the opposite way, where it's coming up through that ring, what will happen is if that dog closes that up on itself, it won't release. So we want to make sure that when we hold this in our left hand like this, it is coming down that little ring. Now we're going to take this and we're going to place this over the dog's head, nice and gentle. If you measure this correctly, it'll go over the ears just like that. And then we can take this to practice by placing this high up on the back of the head. It doesn't have to be here though. The zone for a correction that the dog understands is anywhere from the occipital region down back into the back. So it doesn't have to be high. It can be down here too. At that point in time, we're going to take our right hand and we look at the palm. As we look at the palm, we have our pinky and then the two fingers next to it. I'm going to take the two fingers next to my pinky and place it right where the ring is at. I'm going to take my pinky and place it over the tag end. The tag end is the area that is attached actually to the leash. That's going to help me fold these together. When you close those three fingers, I can take my thumb and put it on one side of the muzzle my forefinger on the other side of the muzzle, and when I need to make a correction, I pull forward with these three fingers saying head straight, head straight. That's something that you can actually see in one of the videos called the complete head straight video on the Eric Solace YouTube channel. Or go to the website, which is the letter K, the number nine, dash world.com. Head straight, head straight. There you go. When you're practicing the head straight position, you want to keep this as a bonding situation. It's not going to be one of those wrestling the dogs. It's not going to be trying to fight with the dog. However, the dog is, is and usually will put up a little bit of a fight there because you're starting to become a little bit more demanding. You're starting to take control when the dog is used to being control. So when you first start this, you're going to lightly do this and you just want to pet the dog. Good job. Head straight. Good job. You want to make sure that when they take this head and they move it up, that is the sign for them to let you know that they're in charge of this. You can't make them do anything. So when that muzzle goes up, you make the head straight correction and you take your left hand and you can place this back so it's level again. You should be able to basically move on to some of your next steps where you're going to present this dog to the judge from this position right here. When you're doing that and you're showing all the parts of your dog, I'm still in this head straight position. I still can come under, show the bite. I can do everything that I need to do from this head straight position. You want to give treats. You want to feed the dog on the table, feed the dog on the ground. Get this dog comfortable. Massage those legs. Desensitize the feet desensitize the head, desensitize the back area for males. All this so when the judge comes, you're going to tell your dog, I got this, I got this, head straight, I'm in charge. And now your dog will stand perfectly for that judge. Now there's going to be a lot of work in between that. Either go to a workshop or, or go to the online lessons and we can show you exactly step by step on how to get to this position here. Talk a little bit about lead control because that's important too. When you have a six foot leash here and you're presenting this dog, you don't want to make this a distraction. If I'm presenting this dog to my judge and the judge is starting an approach, I want to be able to control this head. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my right hand and I'm gonna rub it underneath the bottom of this leash. It's gonna place this right into the head straight position and now I can present this dog for my judge. 
when the judging is over, when they've e examined this dog and they say, let me see this dog down at whatever pattern they're choosing, I need to get this dog onto the ground and to the end of this leash. This is a six foot long leash. So what I want to do is I want to use two hands in this situation here where I'll place this on my pinky and I will wind this up as I'm coming over to the front of my dog. If I'm moving, you're not going to notice that I'm doing too much with this hand here. But if I just stand here and I wind this leash up, it's taking too much valuable time. Your judge only has so much time to examine this dog. And at this point, it appears that you're wasting that time. But if you're moving, if you're making this dog look like it's something that is just absolutely spectacular, getting all that beautiful expression out of this dog, and then you slide this over to the head straight position and bring this dog down ready, or if you have a non-table dog, that dog's already on the ground, to your next stage, which is the pattern for the judge.